what is this? Ooh, I almost dropped it. What? Hey guys, it's V. So today I've got a brand new makeup palette that is Drugstore that I'm going to show you guys today that I just found yesterday and I'm super excited about it. Maybelline The Smokes palette. I'm guessing that they named this one The Smokes because the other one is The Nudes, which I happen to have right here just so that I can show you guys for reference. I've already hit pan on that one that's my favorite color. I want to say it was a Walgreens exclusive, so head up to your local Walgreens to pick this up. Mine was $11.99. So you get 12 colors in this palette, and mine is a little bit dirty because I just did a tutorial on this look here, so if you want to see a little tutorial of that. I'll have that at the end of this video, so keep watching. You get 12 shades and a good variety of shades. So pretty much the reason that I bought this, I walked into Walgreens and I was just looking through the makeup because I was looking for makeup. I saw this purple plum color. That's when I was like sold just getting it for that because I didn't really care about any of the other colors except for that matte plum right about there. And it also has a bunch of other cool matte shades and I'll show you guys the swatches that I did right here. did a quick video just to show you what it looks like in natural light and then I took a picture in natural light and then I took a picture with the flash just so you can see the shimmer and all that in the shimmery shades. So yeah, I really, really like this palette and I think that it's gonna be a good essential to own if you wanna be doing smoky eyes because there's a bunch of great colors in this palette for smoky eyes, especially this metal shimmer. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous on. Like I still have the swatches on my hand and it's this one right here. That thing is gorgeous. Honestly, I'm not going to get very much use out of it because I don't use shimmer eyeshadows very often. But if you are into shimmer, these shimmers are so pigmented and awesome. They are great. One thing I'll say is the back. You know, on the Maybelline Nudes palette, it had the same thing. And it kind of just like gives you a little tutorial kind of thing on how to use their palette. And what's really, it's really cool about this one, but I feel like they just copied and pasted the same thing on this one and they didn't change the color, like, coordination. Only because, like, this, this one right here especially shows, in the corner it shows a dark shade and if you'll look, there is that matte black in the corner right here, but then in the smokes, it has this super light ass pink. So I was looking at this this morning when I was doing my makeup and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll try one of their quads and see if, you know, one of those works for me. And I saw the dark one. And so it, you know, it says one, two, three, and four, and it has the colors, but there's no way that you can color entire lid area with this. Okay, I, I can see that. I see how that works. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this says put this all over your eye, like highlight area included. Put that all over. Then put this just on your lid. Then it says contour your crease with this. How in the hell are you going to see this over these two colors? I'm sorry, that's just not going to happen. Like, <laughs> and then on the pink, it says to line around eye, which in the picture, it points right here on your like lash line. And so I'm like, where are you gonna put this pink on your lash line? That doesn't make any sense to me. So that part of it, I just ignore the back because it just doesn't make any sense. At least to me, it doesn't make any sense. But other than that, this palette is great and I think that it's a great value for your money and I think you should totally get it because it's got a lot of really usable shades in it. So if you want to see how I created this eye look, then just keep watching and I will show you. Okay, so I'm starting out with my Milani Brow Fix that I used in my previous video and just filling in my brows with that. So then I'm taking my Milani Brow Wax and setting my brows. And now I'm taking the Urban Decay in Eden and just putting that all over my lid to so I can get a nice base and so that I can get rid of some of the redness that's in my eyelids and yeah. So then I'm taking the smokes and I'm taking the taupey gray color that's matte and using the applicator that comes with it and just putting that 
all over my lid area just as my base color for all over my eyelids and just making sure I get a good even coat of it on there. Then I'm taking that super light pink color and I'm going to use that as my highlight shade. So I'm just gonna use a different side of the applicator to put that on there. Then I'm gonna take that super gorgeous plum color with my e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to put that in my crease area. And don't worry, I know it looks kind of weird now, but I'm going to blend it out. And just in case you see me talking, Blake was making sure I was staying in frame, so, and he also went to go get me something. That's why you saw him in the background there. So then I'm taking a double-sided Eco Tools brush that has a fluffy end on it, and I'm taking that sparkly black and just putting that in my outer V just to get some definition on the corners there. And then I'm taking a blending brush that I don't know the brand of and just blending all of that out to make it not so harsh. And then I'm grabbing a little bit more of that plum and putting that in there, so just to define it. Then I'm taking the Jordana 12 hour eyeliner and I am putting that all in my waterline and I'm doing it a little bit subtly because I don't want it to be too crazy. Then I'm taking the Subversion primer and I'm just putting that on my lashes. And while that is drying, I'm taking some Q-tips and just cleaning up the lines on the corners just to make sure that it's not so like just making it a little bit more crisp with those and I'm letting it dry, letting it dry, just gonna let my primer dry. Then I'm just taking my Smoky Extravagant Makeup Forever. Oh yeah, right there, um, Blake farted and it was really funny and we kept laughing about it. But anyways, I'm taking the Smoky Extravagant by Makeup Forever sample and just putting that all up on my lashes and getting some good coats of that on there. This stuff is redundant, I do it every day, so... And then I'm taking some Maybelline Fit Concealer in the Fair shade and just putting a little bit on that just to make a little bit crisper of a line on my shadow. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that mascara and put it on my bottom lashes and then I am done. So that was my review and swatches and eye look of the Smokes by Maybelline. If you guys like this video, be sure to show some love to that like button down there. And if you subscribe, then you can become one of my little gypsy kittens and every single one of you counts. So be sure to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was really helpful to you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.